523 this morning now to a troubling trend in the Kansas City area. Casey police said they've already seen seven infant deaths just this year related to unsafe sleeping conditions, including two on the same day late last month. In both instances, the mothers were sharing a bed with their babies and accidentally rolled over on them, suffocating them. Awful. It's a tragic scenario, and it's a problem on both sides of the state line. In 2018, Kansas had 43 sleep-related infant deaths, and Missouri had 89. According to the Child Fatality Review Boards in both states, more than three quarters of those deaths happened when the baby was sleeping somewhere else other than its crib. Right. It's a trend no one wants to see continue. Of course. So new this morning, Ray Daniel going in depth to show you what a safe sleep environment looks like. Ray, this is a topic of conversation. Any time a parent or a new parent has a baby at home, has difficulty trying to get that baby to sleep and wondering what they should be doing, please get us some up to date here. Absolutely. Well, Taylor, local advocates say these heartbreaking accidents are happening far too often and they're preventable. That's why they're trying to get this information out there so it can potentially save a life. And you know, when we look at infant mortality in this city and really across the country, here is one of the most preventable causes that we can address. Tragic and preventable. Every year, dozens of families in Kansas and Missouri are left grieving the loss of a baby because of unsafe sleep conditions. So this is a huge issue that we need to address. That's exactly what Tracy Russell and her team at Nurture KC are trying to do. Part of the group's mission is to educate parents and caregivers about how to keep their baby safe while sleeping. It's more what isn't in the crib than what is. And what we want is baby in that crib and only baby. Shannon Williams runs the Healthy Star program for Nurture KC. She says keeping baby safe while sleeping is as easy as ABC. It's important that the baby is alone, wholly on their back and in their crib. That means no stuffed animals, no blankets, no pillows, and no bed bumpers for at least the first year. Keeping the babies in the same room as the parent is encouraged, but it must be a separate sleeping space. Pediatric nurse Amy Torero says swaddles or wearable blankets are okay, but nothing loose in the crib that could suffocate the baby. And this applies any time the baby is sleeping. A lot of parents and caregivers make a distinction between nap time being a shorter time, so they think it's safe for that infant to be on the adult bed or on a couch um, or on their belly. And all of those things are still unsafe, even if it's just for 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long for this to happen. Russell says some of these sleep practices, like sharing a bed, may be passed down culturally through generations. But it's important to break the trend to prevent a tragedy. We understand that they they want baby close by and that can absolutely happen just to make sure that they're in a separate space. That way baby and parent can sleep safely. That's the best thing you can do as, as a parent to protect your infant. And soundly. So again, the big things to remember are that the baby should be sleeping alone on their back and in a crib and make sure anyone caring for the baby like grandparents or babysitters know these rules as well. Back to you.